four airstrikes have hit rebel-held parts of the Syrian city of Aleppo, activists say. The first raids there since a ceasefire began last Monday. Several people were injured, the UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said, but it did not say who carried out the strikes. Russia has said the future of the truce is in doubt after the F-led coalition struck the Syrian army in Dar al Zur. A Syrian political advisor told the BBC the US strike could not be a mistake. The cessation of hostilities brokered jointly by the U.S. and Russia does not exclude attacks on its or other jihadist groups. An activist in Aleppo confirmed there had been strikes on the eastern neighborhoods of Kodam Mal, Jagal and al Shar. The Aleppo Media Center reported three injuries in an airstrike on al Sakhouda neighborhood. The U.S. attack on Saturday has led to a deterioration in relations between the U.S. and Russia with both Russia and Syria saying it proved there was coordination between the U.S. and the Islamic State group. The U.S. military said the coalition believed it was attacking its positions, and has expressed regret for the unintentional loss of life. But President Bashar al-Assad's media advisor Boutina Shaban said she did not believe the attack was unintentional. The United States, the superpower, the greatest country in the world, makes mistakes in targeting the army. I mean, this doesn't make sense to ask she told BBC World Television. The other explanation is that there is one authority in the United States who wanted to conduct this, the other doesn't want to. And that's why they are finding it very difficult to implement what they agreed upon with the Russians, she said. The attack put a very big question mark over the truce's future, said Russia's un-ambassador for Talia Cherkin. U.S. admits their attack Syria conflict, how will the new truce work? Syrians enjoy moment of calm what's left after five years of war. But French Foreign Minister Jean-Marc Ayrault said that despite the US-led strike the Syrian government was mostly to blame for the violations of the truce. Syria said on Sunday it had lost a warplane in the area of Saturday's attack, which so-called Islamic State is said it had shot down. The BBC's Lena St. Jab, reporting from neighboring Lebanon, says it is rare for the Syrian government to acknowledge losses caused by its, and the announcement may be intended to draw attention to the consequences of the US-led air strike. The air attack caused a bitter row between the U.S. and Russia at the United Nations Security Council on Saturday night, with each country's representatives walking out while the other was speaking. Subscribe and give me like. Thanks for watching. See you at the next.